Hi and welcome to Outwell. Here I'm going to talk you through the features of our Georgia 5P which is in our premium collection. You can see here that the Georgia 5P is a large tunnel design tent that's aimed to sleep up to five people. With the tent being in our premium collection you'll find that the material we're using on the fly sheet is our Outex 5000. This is a polyester material which has been PU coated on the inside and all of the, uh, all of the seams have been taped as well to ensure that it's completely waterproof with a hydrostatic head of 5000 millimeters. You'll also find that the frame we're using here is a steel frame from front to back, just ensuring that you get the maximum amount of rigidity, uh, ensuring that the tent is very stable. And then at the front, we have our extended frame system using this alloy pole here to create the maximum amount of head height for the floor space in the porch area. Other features you'll find on here, we're using our innovative Outwell wind stabilizer system. This is where we have the Velcro tabs, which are attached to the fly sheet. We then wrap these around the poles like so, secure in place, and then we'll find that we have them at the top and at the bottom of each pole. And then the guy lines are attached to these, so we pull the guy lines out and peg them. What happens is then the fly sheet is pulled against the frame of the tent and it makes sure that the tent is as stable as it can be and it would be uh, even able to be used in uh, really strong wind conditions as well. You can see that the guy lines that we use are all our classic luminous outwell guy lines and that's there just to stop you from tripping over them quite as easily. Each guy line then has its own retainer, so when it comes to packing down the tent, we can wrap the guy lines up and pop them in here, so that the next time we come to use them, they're easily accessible. Another feature on here is the fact that we are using our easy pegging system. This is where we supply you with three different types of pegs for the tent. So we have the solid steel anchor pegs for the corners of the tent. We have the luminous plastic pegs for all of the luminous guy lines. And then we have our black plastic pegs for all of the black pegging points around the outside of the tent. So the easy pegging system just makes sure that you get the right peg in the right place. You'll also notice that we have some uh, large windows around the tent itself and these have been tinted and that serves two key functions. One is to reflect the sun away uh, from the inside, keeping you a little bit more comfortable and the second is to give you um, much more privacy within the tent as well. We also have some large mesh ventilation panels on the outside of the tent which just allow cool fresh air in here on a warmer day. Coming around the front then, we'll see that we have the mud valance on the bottom of the fly sheet. This just allows water to run down uh, and away from the inside of the tent itself. A great feature at the front of this tent is that these two side panels next to the open door here can be zipped open as well and rolled up into position. And then the next panels along can actually be rolled back and clipped in place just to allow for a much more full open fronted area. The front of the tent is a panorama front. So what that means is it's curved all the way around and then on every single panel, we have windows giving you great panoramic views out of the tent. If you want a little bit more privacy or you want to choose just how much light is coming into the tent, then we actually have a curtain on every single window. And you'll see here that these just zip into position. So like I say, you can choose exactly just how much privacy or how much light you're letting in, or they can be fully closed as well. So the uh, panorama front here you'll see also has a detachable ground sheet. This ground sheet is a double coated polyethylene, so it's very, very durable. It's going to last a good long time. And it also has a hydrostatic head of at least 10,000 millimeters. Then the ground sheet in the rear of the tent is the exact same material as what we're using here. But the difference is, is that it's fully sealed uh, on all sides. And it is bathtub in style, so it means that you're not going to get any drafts in. And hopefully you're going to keep out those unwanted bugs as well. Separating the front of the tent to the main living area, we have this large wall here. And you can see that we have mesh ventilation panels on here as well, also on the door when it's closed over. The nice feature here is that we can, if we wanted to, just zip this completely open, just using the zip pullers here, just to create a much more open feel. Or as I said, you can have it half closed or fully closed as well. Stepping back into the main area of the tent itself, you'll see there's plenty of headroom in here. I'm around 1 meter 95 tall, and I've got lots of space above me, and there's certainly enough space in the tent as well for furniture and things like this. You just see on this side here that we also have another side entrance on the tent and this has a mesh panel as well so what we can do is roll that door up and then drop down the mesh panel if we want to. Just in the middle of the tent at the top we have our lantern hanging point and you can see then running away from here we have these cable tidies which run down to our cable entry point allowing you to bring electrics into the tent without having to have any cables running through any of your doors. Now I mentioned earlier on that the tent sleeps up to five people and we have quite an interesting configuration of bedrooms here where we have one large bedroom on one side and then we have two single bedrooms on the other side. 
Just some of the features on the outside of the bedrooms then, we can see that we have these mesh panels uh, for great ventilation from within. And there is a curtain behind here, so you can close that over as we have done at the moment. Other little details that you'll find here is that we have this piping running along the zips themselves, just giving a nice bit of detail, but also very functional as it allows us just to open and close the zip pullers very easily without them catching on any uh, of the materials. We also then have a dividing sheet, which we just have rolled away at the moment, which can be brought out uh, between the two bedrooms just to create uh, a more private area at the back for getting changed and things like this. And this is also where you'll find the hanging rail at the back of the tent. And also we have a back door on here as well, which you can see has a mesh panel on it, um, but that can be zipped open also. So the bedrooms, other features then, you can see that we have our wave shaped hanging point system on the bedrooms here. And what that does is it takes away any stress points from the seam at the top of the bedroom, ensuring that it's um, securely held in place. We then also have some storage pockets within the bedroom themselves, just for smaller personal items. We have a large mesh ventilation panel across the back of the tent. And we also then have low light windows in all of the bedrooms as well. So we have a few uh, different optional extras available for the tent, including a carpet for the living area here. There's then a footprint available to go under the tent. And we also have a front awning available for the Georgia 5P as well. So that's all the features then of our Georgia 5P. Thanks very much for watching.